Welcome back to Desert with Days. I'm your host, Kathy Blaze, and I am here with Mr. Jared Wilson. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. I'm digging that hair. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> so, Mr. Jared, you're a pirate, you're a pirate electric and grip. Mm -hmm. I have to ask where that name come from. Well, uh, we started the company uh, under humble beginnings in my backyard, and we were just having fun. We were some young filmmakers wanting to tell stories, and we just kind of came up with the name Pirate. Uh, I don't really know really where it came from. You know, <laughs> maybe we were kind of disheveled and maybe looking like pirates at the time. Maybe <laughs> some of us still do. I don't know. Uh, it, it was an endeavor that I never thought would actually work. And uh, and here we are, almost twenty years later, and wow. it's Pirate Grip and Electric, and it's working. <laughs> twenty years. It's coming up on twenty years. Yeah, it's been about seventeen or so. Yeah. Congratulations! So, That's awesome. Yeah, thank you. That is awesome. And this twenty years is most of your work in the film industry. Yes. So uh, I jumped in as a production assistant on set, commercials and corporate stuff and then jumped in with the, the grips and the electricians, the lighting people, and learned how to do that, and then um, started getting onto independent films, doing that. And then we always needed a certain piece of equipment, which is, it's a daylight balance light, which is called HMI. No one ever had it. We don't, yeah. You can fake it with tungsten lights and put some gel in front of it. It's never the same. So I always just said, you know what? I'm gonna buy one of these lights so I have the tool to do the uh -huh. job. And then people found out I had that, and they wanted to rent it from me. Never even thought I could rent stuff. I never even thought about that. And I was like, yeah. And then it just started from there and just kept building. Forgive me, but I have to say this. Yes, so they went to Jared's. They did. <laughs> they sure did. <laughs> I'm glad they did. <laughs> when I look at all the responsibilities of a grip, they're major. Mm -hmm. But you're adding electric in that equation as well. Yeah. Thinking of one of your last major film projects, what was your company's role? So... Uh, in a, like a, we're, we live in Arizona in a right to work state, and I love that, and um, I'm here to stay. Um, there are other um, towns that are more unionized, mm -hmm. and those towns will um, uh, delineate and, and, and separate uh, the grip department and the electrician, oh, the electric okay. department. And the ironic part about that, and it sometimes creates animosity, right? Um, and the, the ironic part of it is that both departments work under the director of photography, the DP and you know, ultimately the director too, um, to give the um, the look and, the, and portray the vision that they want. And they work together and uh -huh. it's, it, they need to work together. So to me, in my mind, it just makes sense that the grip department and the electrics department should be in one company because sometimes I'll rent a piece of equipment and because I know both, I'll say, well, don't you also want this? Because right. it also, they kind of go together. Um, and so my truck packages that I rent out have both grip and electric on them. Sometimes we're just grip, sometimes we're just electric, but mm -hmm. most of the time we are, we're both grip and electric. Um, and you asked the most recent project that we've worked on. Right. There was a, uh, uh, recently in the spring, there was a Rob Schneider movie that okay. shot here. Okay. And it was a, a daddy daughter trip movie. Uh -huh. And uh, we supplied uh, grip and electric, truck packages, generators, uh, production supplies. Um, we have some open box vans and box trucks that we supplied and, um, and then we got the, the labor force together to work with an electric, too. Do you have to know all the um, the um, components of a production? I think that the more you know, the bigger picture mentality you have um, will only help you do your job better. Um, so I think it's impossible to know everything. Right. And, and, you know, and technology is always changing and, and we're entering this realm or we're in this realm of LEDs. Right. And so that's constantly changing. Uh, cameras are constantly changing. Sure. Um, so, yeah, you're always learning something new, which should be an exciting challenge and not really as so much of a letdown. Yeah. Um, but, it, you know, it, it always takes a team and um, no one's an island. And, uh, 
you know, you want to have the best team around you. That's you want to true. have your, um, you know, your dream team with you. And your, tra- so. your team that you can trust that they can do their part and you don't have to stand over them and do that. For it, you. It's, it's a lot of trust. Yeah. yeah. You know, this would be, um, this is elementary, but there may be people watching and not know what a grip is. Can you explain what a grip is? So the grip department has a lot of facets to it. Um, they are light manipulators in that they bounce and diffuse light and flag light, control light. Um, They also um, support camera. They supply dollies and jibs, which would be cranes. Uh Um, They might safety um, a camera operator or camera department, and that's in the realm of like a safety coordinator. Sometimes there's firearms on set or, you know, Uh fake or real ones, and the key grip is usually the one that works with the armor or, or, you know, the first AD um, to make sure that, you know, that the barrel is clear, there's no, right. you know, bullets in there and everything's safe. Um, and the key grip can definitely stop a production and go, we're not doing this because this is unsafe. So, wow, you guys have huge responsibility. Yeah. You really do. For sure. So what is it, um, you've been around for 20 years. Mm-hmm. Do you, you see yourself as the go-to person here in Arizona? Uh, well, I would like people to give me a chance, for mm-hmm. sure. Um, but I'm definitely, um, a firm believer that I, nobody should have the whole pie. Mm -hmm. I would just like to have a piece of the pie. And I think that pirate, um, especially uh, the sweet potato pie, especially (laughs) the sweet potato pie for sure. Uh, pirate offers something, uh, unique that maybe other grip houses, electric houses, rental houses don't. Um, one of which is I'm an owner operator. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm going to look at a project or approach a project in a different way than someone who maybe is just, you know, not just, but an owner and doesn't actually work on set. And that's not a bad thing. It's just different. And, um, people have the freedom to call me up or not. We spoke about a a couple of services you offer. Um, are there any other services that you provide? Yes. So we, in the last couple of years, have been going into the art department realm of things. Oh. So that, and also the studio realm of things. So we have a 4,000 square foot studio right next door to our shop. Wow. And we also have an art department. And that is a really big thing. Wow. <laughs> it is set walls. It is uh, small to large props. And we're also kind of, toying around and getting into um, prop fabrication as well. And so we actually just made a commercial uh, and uh, uh, to showcase this. Okay. And we had a, a local filmmaker approach me to want to give back and do some commercials. And we put it together last minute. And I think we came up with a pretty good little piece. So you brought a commercial here for us to watch, I did. right? Yes. Okay. Oh, well, hello. Welcome back to another story of the Chronicles of Pirate Booty Props. Once, while on a stroll during the last hours of the day, I noticed a face staring back at me from the pit where time ends. With my trusty fishing pole, I cast a line. It deserved a hand. I had to have it. The wind of the trucks pushed against me as they drove by. I was all on my own. It was worth it. It was beautiful. It belonged in the collection. I had to save it. Its hands were almost in my hand. It was so close. And then, I had it. And that is how Corbin the Clock came to be with us at Pirate Booty Props. That was funny. <laughs> so it's silly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so we've had a lot of um, film students come to us. And one of well, one of them, Andrew, has turned out to be just a fantastic um, hand on set. And yeah. he's just going to move up the ranks. And for his final project, he needed to do a 15 second, 30 second, 60 second, and a how-to video. So um, this is actually the first time we're unveiling this commercial oh. on your show. <laughs> And yay! Uh, yay. <laughs> and uh, we will be unveiling more of them. And um, and we just want to let everyone know that we're also in the, the art realm of things. Uh, we work with a lot of local art directors. Um, and uh, we want to try to uh, spruce up the sets and make them look as, um, you know, as good as they possibly can. That's wonderful. Yeah. 
You mentioned that you have a 4,000 square feet studio. Yes. That's awesome. That yeah, awesome. it's a big deal. Where, where is your studio located? So we're right by Six Points Intersection, right across from the fairgrounds. Okay. Downtown Phoenix. So okay. McDowell, 19th Avenue, and Grand, where that all meets. Yeah. That is amazing. I mean, is, is it fully operable right now? Yeah, so basically it's, um, it's also a historical building, a historical warehouse. Okay. So it has, um, so we have uh, blackout curtains on, on, on rails, okay. and so we can just black it all out. Um, or we can open them up and you can see the different types of walls, uh, red brick, um, gray brick, white brick. Mm -hmm. There's windows that we can open up and sh shoot a light through or have the sun come through, add a little bit of haze or fog in there and you get those God rays coming in. Um, but we also have grip and electric um, gear available uh, oh, okay. at a, a studio rate, which is probably the best deal you're going to get. Uh, and those rates are on our, our website. Oh, okay. So. so where can our audience find you? So that would be pirate grip and electric all spelled out at gmail.com. That's my, actually my email. Address. <laughs> it's pirate grip and electric.com in my email. If anybody wants to contact me, it's pirate grip and electric at okay. gmail.com. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And thank you for joining us today. Yeah. It was amazing hearing about pirate grip and electric and what a grip is yes <laughs> and i'm sure our audience enjoyed that well, i hope so I hope. thanks for having me kathy thank you for joining us today at desert Wood days and we look forward to seeing you next time